The installation of this outlet is fairly straightforward. It has these screws here, and there's two different holes. So we can see this is the hot side, it says hot. This is the neutral side. So the hot is going to be our black wire, the neutral is going to be our white wire, and the copper or green, if it might be a green wire or the bare copper wire is our ground. And so for that one, it's already, I already loosened this one up a little bit, it's this green screw. It's a good idea to do that one first. The order you always want to do is your neutral, your uh, ground first, then your neutral, and then the hot very last. And you'll want to make sure, of course, that the power is off. So I'll just show you. This is just a, a sample little piece of wire. It's not even hooked up to anything. But I'll just show you. We'll uh, put this ground in first. There's a little channel here, and we can just slide it right in there. And then um, if I can do this while on camera and holding it, we just tighten this screw up this grounding screw, and there we go. So you want to make sure you have that pretty good and snug in there. You can do a little tug and see if you can pull it out, see if it's tight. And then the other ones are the same way. And so again, we'll do neutral first. And the way these work, you can see there's a little plate in there that as we tighten it, that metal plate comes up and loosen it, it goes down. Well, it's actually just going to pinch our wire or wires. We could put two in. We could have a white neutral coming in and then going out to feed another outlet or feed a switch or something. And so when this is open, it comes in the open position by default. I'll just stick this white neutral in here and then tighten this screw. And you want to get it pretty tight, um, fairly snug, and just test, see if you can pull this out. If this were any looser, I'd be able to pull this out. So just make sure that you don't have it too loose that this will actually pull out like that because otherwise you'll put it back in the box and either it will pull out or it'll just be loose and not make contact. Sometimes you'll go and wiggle an outlet in the wall, and it'll it'll you know make it'll dim your lights or, or cut you know cut out power for the rest of the circuit. So you want to make sure this is tight so that you don't have any um, issues that that way. And then the last one we're going to install is this black wire, our hot wire. And to do that, we just do the same thing. So we come over here, we just stick it in there, and then we'll tighten that. Uh, screw right there. And again, refer to the, the instructions if you have any question on this. And if you can maybe, you know, ask a, an electrician if you have any questions, because it can be dangerous if you install it correctly. If you were to reverse these, you'd probably damage the components in here that control the USB charging. So it's not like, it's a little, little bit more sensitive than other just regular outlets. If you wire up a regular outlet wrong, it'll still work and it'll just be reverse polarity. But this one, it will actually damage the circuitry in here because there is a chip in here that you know detects what type of uh, USB de device is plugged in for charging. But that is, uh, yeah, that's how the wiring works on that. I'll just show you real quick that, um, just in case you had any questions. And now I'm going to actually wire this up on my test bench and I'm gonna do some testing on it. And so check out the other video where I show um, you know, reviewing the charging, seeing how much this, how much power this draws when it's just not ha having anything plugged in, and also how much power it draws while it uh, has USB devices plugged in. And then also, I want to test the temperature and see how hot this thing gets. So check out that that video if that sounds interesting to you. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.